Right, so today we are at Preston's Old Synagogue, as you can see right there. Now this building is quite a historic one. It was basically in the late 1800s. The Muslim community was first developed, so they built that in 1932, but it declined in the 1980s, so in 1982, the Muslims sold it on to the Hindus who used it as a synagogue from 1984 up until 2008. I'll leave a more detailed bit of history in the description. But yeah, this was last used in 2008. This building right here, right in front of me. I'm going to show you the destroyed interior now. I mean, I've already been in a few days ago and I can tell you now it's taken a beating. Let's go and give you a quick show. So, um, yeah. And here you go, you can see an, an access point right there. This was supposed to be getting demolished back in May. I suppose it isn't yet. Yeah. go there's the old entrance pretty nice building there used to be right there there used to be a symbol at some point in this video I'll put a picture up from when this place was actually open in 2007 It's just a shell unfortunately. As you can see, absolutely beaten to death. Not much left here. Didn't come to this part last time. Need to stay away from the windows and so someone doesn't grasp me up and waste police time. And ultimately the taxpayer's money. It's quite a, a destroyed building really. As you can see, this place really is a thing of the past. I mean, I didn't know that there was a hole in the ground. I won't be going down there unless there's a, a clear way down. I'm going to go up these steps now. See all the old architecture there. I'm walking on the most dangerous structure. I mean, just look at the state of that. There's holes in the floor. There's the other staircase there. It's a shame really that such a historic building has become such a shell. Not much to showcase inside other than just decay. Wow, I'm gonna lose my footing there. Alright. I wouldn't recommend this at all. Yeah, this is Preston's last synagogue. There's, there's the main gate. don't really fancy that too much. Seems like an accident waiting to happen really. Obviously I'm going to get some shots in here. Look at the state of that. That's an old staircase. I don't think that's... Right, I'm going to have to risk this bit, aren't I? It's not safe, this is not safe. some weird other staircase behind a wall 
which is which I find very peculiar somehow. But you've got to appreciate the architecture. It's one of the only remaining things left here, really. This is this is 12 years of damage, which is insane. It's a lot of damage for 12 years. I've been in. It's a bit like Win Stanley Hall. This. That, I'd imagine, was a toilet. That's only a guess. And there's some old glass panes there. So there is little bits left. Aside from that, there's not really much to show you here. And there's some of the old shattered out windows. down into the basement. I'll get my flashlight and this. I should have again brought my torch. But I guess I forgot it again. Right, let's go down here. I said I wasn't going to go down here, but I am. This is not good. Yeah, you can see some of the old architecture. Right, I'm, I'm, it's not, it's about to say I'm not going to go down here, but I'm going to do it for the video. Just because I haven't showed much just a shell of a building is this and there's the floors there really isn't much to show you it's just a ruin I won't recommend this place to be honest very dangerous very dangerous Obviously it's going to be a short one because it's not that much to show you but I thought the history has probably got more to offer than the actual remains to be honest. There you go, this is Preston's old synagogue and its last one as well. And this is probably going to get demolished then, saying they were going to demolish it about the last May like I said. So yeah I'm going to get some shots of this place. And then I'm hopefully just going to leave here. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to get some shots on my camera. So, um, yeah. Okay, so another thing that I forgot to show you is that there's actually some stained glass in the ceiling. So that's probably one of the only other religious remnants left of this place. I don't even know, and then it's overgrown over there. Smashed out there. You know, you get the idea. Here's an old fireplace from all those years ago. I can kind of see why they wanted to demolish this building now. It's nothing other than a ruin. Still don't want to stand on that though. So another thing I've just noticed is an old drinks machine. So my only answer to why that's there is either it was someone's just randomly left it here for no reason or this was from before they closed it in 2008 and this is, was just left here and this was like part of a cafeteria or something. It's quite a, quite a good little room. See, look, there's loads of other equipment. This is what I'm thinking. There was some like, some food and drink, something like that kind of room. You can just about see under all this rubble and broken glass, some of the old tiles some of the old this would have been the original architecture of the building all those years ago and there's the tiles for the entrance as well and there's the main door this place is properly battered I don't think I don't blame them for wanting to demolish it really it's had fires it's been completely shredded recently so yeah I'm imagining that blue door's the old door because I believe, if I remember correctly, the picture from 2007 had the blue door in. And there's the boarded door that they've added, obviously, because this building's properly beaten up. And yeah, it's just not safe. Just don't come here. There's not much really to see. I mean, if you're really dedicated, I mean, it, it, take care if you're going to come here, basically, because it's, it's no place for messing around. Bit like St. Joseph's Orphanage, really. 
it's no place for messing around take care if you're going to come here because it's just not safe at the end of the day so yeah i'm going to get some pictures of the exterior and then i'll be off goodbye old place it's been nice now in here but you're just a bit too battered anything about it oh, and I just nudge my camera with my knee very smart very very smart right. some of this metal equipment of some kind couldn't quite tell you what and then here's the exterior of the building which I'm going to show you in more depth to what I've showed you before as you can see look at the architecture you can tell it's abandoned but it doesn't look that bad from the outside looks actually quite good you can see there some of the old remnants and the the old windows there the architecture it's quite good really to see stuff like this side of the building it's quite an interesting choice they've gone for metal I don't know if those were there originally but yeah the Hindu symbol that was there that is where the Hindu symbol was. They've obviously moved it out and bricked it up because they wanted to preserve it, but they, they moved to a new location, the last people who occupied this building in 2008. So, uh, yeah, I suppose that kind of makes enough sense, to say the least. Oh, made it out. Made it out in one piece. Bye bye old place, a bit too destroyed for anyone's liking now, just saying, but you are a nice building, and I will miss you when you get demolished. Anyway, that's about all there is going to be for this video, uh, obviously this was a short one because there wasn't much to show other than the decay and the rot, but the history of the building was enough for it to be worthy of a video. I think that was my opinion on it really that's why I chose to do a video on it but yeah if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and uh, yeah check out one my only other video at the moment on this channel where I explore St Joseph's orphanage and some of my photo compilations and subscribe if you're new around here because I'll be doing a lot of other new cool related like abandoned building exploring related videos so, um, yeah, also give this video a thumbs up, and uh, yeah, there you go, one last view of the almighty building, the almighty structure that I have toured you inside, because no one else has done a video on it, because it's practically a shell. Anyway, thanks all for watching, and I'll see you all later, goodbye.